Newcastle fan TV here with a uh, Chelsea legend, Paul Cannonville. And uh, you got you got out of jail today, Paul, man. Which jail are you talking about? You got out of jail. Now, come on, listen. I, I know you would have been up there and seen like TV screens and that. The sending off. But should Costa have gone? Of course he should have gone. Nah, so nah, then nah. you got away with it. Then. Nah, nah, leave it. Don't get me wrong. The two official sending off to Arsenal. Come on, you can argue about it. You can't, first of all, you can't put your hand on the player. You know that already. Second one, that was a terrible tackle, and that was the second incident he was booked before. The second foul that he made on Fabregas. Sorry, that was nearly ankle cruncher. Right. Had to go. Ivanovic made three in that game that I felt. Uh, you know, and no yellow cards given. But there was another one. Um, I can't remember. It, I think it was Pedro. He caught the ball. No yellow cards. But that's the difference. That's what you felt. But the referee was there, and he <laughs> gave it to. Yeah, but and was the referee right in those decisions? No, I don't think he was. Was the referee consistent that's in the game? Is. Don't get me wrong. We can talk about consistency for miles blue with referees. But today he was on. Um, it was a performance that both teams needed to win. Mm. Don't get me from the the games in the week, you were at a bad game mm -hmm. and got sending off. Um, don't get me wrong, we won, but they weren't a strong team, but we scored four goals. Did you say it was an even today, game up until... It would have been an even game, mm, but up until the sending offs. we would have got stronger. Mm. I'm telling you that. I know it was with Chelsea, um, with Chelsea. Yes, he hasn't been a bad time to start the season, um, but it is coming good. I've been saying it about the staff that we needed, a, a regime of staff, a, a fresh face. Um, some of the players that have been there haven't been, should I say, performing. Mm. But today it came good. You saw mm. what today. You guys bounce back. You, you, well, you know, you think this could be a kickstart. You guys up the table. It's not about kickstarting. It's not about winning the league. What it is is about starting off how we did today, and taking it for next week down to Newcastle. Every day, every game is going to be different. Mm. Every game is going to be hard. Who's going to finish higher this season? Your mob or our lot? Um, you keep asking me that. You asked me that last time. <laughs> and the same thing applies. You got it right last time. The same thing applies. <laughs> I don't get me wrong. Um, when it comes to London Derby, who comes on top? Chelsea. Against Arsenal, against Tottenham, even against Brentford. It's Chelsea. The well, London sign is strong. Congratulations. I'm glad you said that. You're always going to win if you've got 12 men. He's real. <laughs> <laughs> Talking real this time, because you know last time he couldn't play. Anyway, it's good talking to you boys. Yeah, well, catch good, up. Good luck, man. Oxley Chamberlain, they kick you in the stomach. Fam, so much salt. Roll on the ground. The referee will make a decision. He, he, you, you get kicked a little bit. The referee didn't see it. They protest that he kicks me and he gets a straight red. You just do the same thing, fam. You know, you're in Chelsea, fam. You play dirty. You play dirty, fam. <laughs>